Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. This is going to be the August 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. As always my readings are very intuitive so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive as well as the meaning of the tarot card. I do however recommend you check out your sun, moon and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, the so last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what's coming for August. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. But again, Aquarius column number one, what's wrapping up and coming to a close. So starting out with a quick summary affirmation card here. We have the card, I feel confident. I love this. Most often, many of us need more confidence. So I love that you were able to go in, own it, get things done. Uh, you really... Uh, confidently accomplish something though is the message I'm getting there Aquarius so that is wonderful to see let's see what other messages we have coming through here though okay let me just adjust this or see if I can adjust this some okay so first up we have the Wheel of Fortune. If you've watched my videos before, you know the Wheel of Fortune is one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. This is a card of good luck, um, good fortune. It's a card of turning point. So not only, again, did you go in and confidently get something done and hearing luck was really on your side, but this is a turning point. This um, action that you took is now leading to something. It caused this shift. It caused this turn here, Aquarius, which is really cool to see. The next card that we have is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of working hard, mastering your craft. It's also enjoying what you're doing though, which I love to see. Not all of us can say that we enjoy what we do. But again, this is uh, hard work paying off. So you've put in all the hard work, you've put in the effort, you so confidently accomplished whatever this was, and now we're at this turning point, this shift that you have worked so hard for. And at the bottom here, we have the judgment card. The judgment card is always favorable for you, Aquarius, which is wonderful. Um, this is a card of clarity. This is a card of life's purpose. Again, we're doing something that we enjoy. We're doing something meaningful. Um, this is also a decision though, so you may be faced with a decision now that you've taken this action, this shift has come, it's like you have to make the decision to go forward with whatever this is. Let's take a look though at our clarifiers and see what other messages I can give you. First up we have the Empress. Love the Empress, it's a card of creation, a card of abundance. Lots of abundance to come your way, but again you created this for yourself, you put in that hard work there. The next card that we have is the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is desire for long-term security. Again, this is you working towards the things that you want, Aquarius. And at the bottom we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the case of Ace of Cups, this is new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. Um, so there could be some new love, new baby, um, but I do think this is more likely speaking to the opportunity, the proposal, the opportunity. So this new thing. Now you get to make the decision if we go after it or not. So really strong last few weeks there, Aquarius. Love to see that. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next column, though, which is general what's coming for the month of August. We have the card, I Will Inspire. Um, what I'm hearing here, this is about keeping yourself motivated, keeping yourself inspired here. Um, inspired action is going to take you a lot further. If you're just going through the motions, it's not going to have the same impact. So uh, make sure the action that you're taking is very motivated, very inspired. But let's see what messages we've got coming through here. This is again just general peek at what's coming for August. I'm having a hard time saying August. I think I'm in disbelief. It's already August. Anyways, 
here we have the nine of wands the nine of wands is a card of keeping and maintaining boundaries um so be thinking about boundaries make sure we are careful what we say yes to uh, don't put yourself out there too much. More importantly though, this is a card of persistence. So again, this is about being motivated. This is about taking inspired action. Um, this is moving and taking action with a reason. Uh, so stay persistent, but again, make sure we have that motive, that inspiration behind it. The next card that we have is the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords can be a card of not so good relationship. This is like bully, theft, violence, abusive, toxic relationship. You may find at some point this month that there is someone that's almost like working against you. Um, so it may be important to put boundaries there. Uh, keep your distance. You know, there's like those people that you're working on something really cool. You're working on something really positive and you share it with them and then they somehow like make it a negative or there's some sort of jealousy there. I think that could be the case. So putting some distance between you and that person. Um, they're just not on your side as much as we would like. And then at the bottom here we have the Empress. Again, a card of abundance, a card of creation. There's so much that you're building and creating for yourself that's a loud and clear message for these last few weeks here. Um, but stay persistent and uh, stay away from people that aren't good for you. Oh yeah. Okay, taking a look at our clarifiers. First up we have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a card um, of being very gossipy, very dramatic. It's like prying eyes, again, people trying to find out your business. So put some distance, put some space between you and those people that are not serving you well here, Aquarius. Definitely connected to that Five of Swords. On top of the Five of Swords, you have the Five of Swords. So again, there's somebody in the picture here that we need to put some distance between ourselves and them. Again, they're just like trying to keep you from where you want to go, trying to keep you from who you want to be. At the bottom here, we also have the moon card. The moon card is a card of making changes. Again, we're creating, we're changing. We're in this pursuit of happiness. We're in this very inspired and motivated state because there's something that you want. You're moving towards these desires here. Um, so these are the voluntary changes. Again, trust intuition too. Um, you may not like know that this person's doing something wrong, but you can feel that the person, something isn't right. So trust your intuition there with the moon card as well. Now taking a look at our next column, we're going to talk about anything related to money. A quick money message to get us started here. The far left back corner of your home is considered your wealth corner. Adorn it with things that encourage money to flow, such as a water fixture or an abundance crystal. In this column, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments that you have, whatever you associate with money. The first card that we have is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of stress, exhaustion, having too many burdens. I mentioned this earlier, but make sure you're not over committing yourself. Do not take on anything additional. Um, you're feeling a little stressed, feeling a little exhausted, feeling a little burnt out. You might be trying to like do your day job and then do all of this creation at the same time. So just be aware, be cautious, be careful. Um, when I see this card, for whatever reason, meditation seems to really help with Ten of Wands energy. Also, treat yourself to a weekend off if you can here, Aquarius. You're kind of due for a little break. You're due for a disconnect, it seems. The next card that we have is the Temperance card. The Temperance card is a card of balance, harmony, moderation. I love to see this because I think you've been in this busy go, go, go state, but it seems like things are going to ease up. Um, they are going to relax. They're going to balance out with the Temperance card. I wish every reading had the Temperance card because I feel like we all need more balance and harmony. So I love to see this, especially just knowing that we're kind of feeling burnt out there with the Ten of Wands. The next card that we have is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very confident, very self-assured. Um, I am hearing that you could like be doing some self-soothing. Uh, you definitely are motivating yourself, but you could be like encouraging yourself along the way too. Also, I'm hearing like advocate for yourself. So again, don't hesitate to take that weekend off. Disconnect, um, unplug a little bit there. Taking a look now that our clarifiers, though, we have our Nine of Cups. 
The Knight of Cups has a literal meaning of wishes coming true. So you're really working to get things done, which I love to see. I'm almost hearing though, it's like you can't get things done if you're fully burnt out. So just keep that in mind. You are definitely working towards your desires, your goals, your dreams, which I love to see, but take a little rest here. Um, again, it's hard to function on empty. The next card that we have is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, award, recognition, good news, success. Um, so love to see that coming for you in the re uh, in the month of August. So definitely some victories, awards, successes, recognitions, any of those positive things coming your way. At the bottom here we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a very busy card. Not surprised to see this with the Ten of Wands. But again, we do have the Temperance card, which means things are going to balance out. You may need to like hype yourself up and remind and encourage yourself that things are going to balance out too, so keep that in mind. The Seven of Cups is also a little bit committal uh, or non-committal, so you could hesitate to fully commit to something. But again, the Queen of Wands is being confident, being self-assured. So if you want to go for something or go after something, um, I'm hearing you kind of got to fully commit. So just be aware of that as well. Taking a look now at our next column, anything related to love. We have a quick message here. It says, power, you instinctively know what's right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. In this column, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love. At the top here, we have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of rivalry, obstacle, challenge. There's some sort of conflict or some sort of issue popping up here, uh, Aquarius. The next card that we have is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card of withdrawing, retreating. I feel like you're going to pull away from this relationship. Um, if you look at this person, they're also moving on. So I feel like you could be ending your relationship. This could be family, friend, loved one. But it's like we're again distancing ourselves here. We're pulling away from the conflict. I feel like this could be like an ongoing issue too. Something just like keeps happening time and time again and you're like, all right, this just isn't it. It's time for me to move on. I will say with the Eight of Cups, it's like the grass is greener on the other side. So I think it is a good time and place to move away. At the bottom here, we have the Six of Wands coming up again too, which is again that card of victory, award, recognition, good news, success. Um, it's almost like this was like holding you back from something and then there's like an immediate win when we uh, let go of things that are no longer serving us. Let's take a look at our clarifiers here though. First up we have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a car card of heartbreak, loss, depression, separation. Um, again, I feel like this Five of Wands, whatever this conflict is, this bump in the road, um, I think for many of you it's reoccurring, but it's again enough for us to kind of part ways here. Definitely some sad, low feelings about it. The Six of Cups is the next card that we have. Um, the Six of Cups is like a nostalgic card. It's reflecting back. I think there is a lot of history here for many of you. Um, this is also like innocence too. So maybe this was never really meant to be malicious, but things like just aren't working out here. And at the bottom here, we have the Devil card. The Devil card's a card of greed, envy, materialism, obsession. It's overdoing something. Um, I do feel like this card or this relationship has like overstayed its welcome is what I'm hearing. But it's like something was being overdone. So some traits there between the Five of Wands or the Devil card that maybe are what's driving that conflict. Okay, now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card, I will protect. So there's something here, Aries, that you are protecting, that you're defending. But let's go ahead and see what messages we have in this final column here. Okay, first up we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a very resourceful card. This is about using your resources in the correct way. Time, money, energy, space, whatever it may be. So again, being resourceful with your resources. This is very much so a fertility card and a relationship card as well. 
The next card that we have is the Justice card. The Justice card is always favorable for you. This is cause and effect though. It's like you put in this effort so you get this out. Um, again, be thinking about putting the resources into the correct place, using your resources resourcefully. Um, the Justice card is also a card um, of finding out some sort of information potentially. This is good for contracts, legal matters, things of the court. At the bottom here we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is very patient. This is new job, raise, some sort of money news. Um, I think this is tying into this thing that we're working on still here. So this is about putting your resources in the correct place, that cause and effect, reaping the benefits of it. And um, I do think this thing that you're so diligently working on creating will likely lead to money there. Let's take a look at our clarifiers and see what other messages I can provide you. So first up we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a card um, of being very bold. This is making power moves. This is making strong moves. This is having courage to take bold steps. Um, again though, make sure the resources, the time, the money, the energy are being put into the correct place. The next card that we have is the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card. Um, it's kind of low feelings. I think maybe some of you are feeling a little discouraged, but I wouldn't. Again, the justice is favorable for you. It's cause and effect. Uh, maybe you're thinking your efforts aren't paying off in the way that they should, but they definitely are here. And at the bottom here, we have the page of wands. This is like active. This is taking action. I always tell people this is like energizer, bunny, go, go, go. Um, so this is you taking the action. Um, to keep moving this forward. So protect this thing, continue to work on it, make sure your resources are in the right place. Now I'm gonna give the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're gonna use our Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. Question number one, we have the Three of Diamonds. This is number 48 card, that's gonna be a yes. Question number two, we have the Two of Hearts, the number 19 card, that's going to be a yes. And question number three, we have the two of spades. This is number 34 card. That's also a yes. So yes is across the board there for you. We are going to take a look at our healing stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of August. Your crystal this month is black turlamine, which is good for protection, relaxation. Um, again, protects you, relaxes body, mind, and spirit. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our healing notes deck. Your healing note says, never hurry, get plenty of exercise, always be cheerful, get all the sleep you need, expect to be well. Thank you so much Grace for tuning in, watching and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe, let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful August.